You're not taking the boys anywhere. Come on. I gave you a star. You didn't give me anything, Todd. Would you like to see a copy of the custody agreement? You got custody because I was in the hospital. But I'm fine. And the kids are a package deal. What the hell does that mean? It means that the boys love their sister. And I'm not going to separate them. Well, I'm their father, and I'm not going home alone. Oh, what happened, Todd? Your little love nest suddenly your little empty? This has nothing to do with my love nest. My god, I have no love nest. Yeah, well, it's a little quiet now, isn't it? Well, he's having to listen to Dorian, that's for sure. Oh, please. I don't know how you guys stand it. Jack told me he can't wait to get the hell out of here. Oh, don't. No, don't. Oh, what? Don't you try to convince me that you're taking the boys because that's what they want. It is what they want. No, it's what you want, Todd. It's always what you want. Yes, I would like to spend some time with my own son. Because you are lonely. Oh. <laughs> because you are lonely. But let me tell you something. Your children are not a consolation prize. You're not going to walk out there with my kids because you've lost everything. John. It's called avoiding. Okay. Well, you might remember that I'm not really good at talking. Okay. How about this? I'll talk. And all you have to do is listen. Where are the platanos? You cannot have carne guisado without plantains. They're in the fryer. The Oh, no. Dorian, why don't you go and get ready? We've got everything under control I want to make sure that you're going to have sparkling water and still water outside, you know, on, on the terrace where we're having a lovely hors d'oeuvre. We will make sure that everything is there. Now, why are you so nervous? Nervous? I'm not nervous. It's just dinner. I've been folding tamales for hours. This is not just dinner. So I want it to be perfect. So what? Ray already lacks you. And when he sees all the fuss you've gone through to lift his spirits, he will more than like you. Oh, now. <laughs> you make it sound as if I'm wooing the man. Gonna fool me. <laughs> no, he's, well, you know, his daughter is in an institution. Well, whatever it is you're doing, you can count on us. We got your back. Well, I should hope so. After all, you are, the two of you, responsible for the fact that Ray and I are living together under the same roof when you invited him to move into my house. And aren't you glad we did? I have to tell you, I've always felt that you and Blair had a lot in common. That is what I said to her, that I, I couldn't understand how she could hate me so much. Did she spell it out for you? <laughs> she told me a thing or two. But we didn't really come to an understanding until I... Tell you what. I can't believe I confessed this to Blair. until I told her that, uh, that Todd was the love of my life. Blair, I'm not using the kids to cheer myself up. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Todd. Go ahead. Well, you know what? I really don't care what you think. And the other thing is, neither does anyone else. I have legal custody. Custody, custody, wow. You've made that clear. Well, I'm not sure I have, because you don't seem to understand what it means. We went to court. No, you, you lost. went to court. I was in a hospital bed. Oh, I, yes, I recall. And your perfect husband was running from his murder charge. Oh, and none of that would have happened if pal Lord hadn't been after you in the first place. Well, I don't know what to tell you. It, it, it didn't stop the judge from making me the kid's legal guardian. Oh, a uh, temporary legal guardian, Todd. And you know what? It doesn't really matter now, because everything is different. Right? What, what, are you getting divorced? No. Uh, I'm healthy, I'm fine, and John's been cleared. Oh, congratulations. <clears throat> Why don't you go tell that to a judge? Oh, I think I might, and I'm not going to stop there. What else are you going to tell him? 
I'm gonna tell him about your sex life in Landview. <laughs> I don't think he has time for that. Oh, but I bet he'll have time for yours. I'll tell him how you were sleeping with my lawyer right before the hearing. Oh, you think that Taya threw your case? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know what? We'll find out because uh, she'll be disbarred and I'll have my kids back. It's not gonna happen. Oh, yeah, Todd. It is going to happen. And you might as well face it. Because the only way that you can win this one is if you were to get married. And that would take someone like uh, Eleanor Roosevelt and uh, Mother Teresa rolled into one. <laughs> Don't you even think about it. So can I uh, ask you a personal question? If this is about the seventh grade school picture, my best friend talked me into letting her cut my hair. <laughs> uh, Stacy, why aren't there any pictures of Stacy in here? I mean, I, not now, obviously, but when you were kids. Uh, when we were growing up, Stacy had braces, blackheads, glasses. Oh, glasses. Yeah, like pop bottles. <laughs> and what, your parents just never took any pictures of her? She wouldn't let them. Never? Well, I mean, sometimes someone would sneak a picture of her, but then the copies somehow always disappear. God, she really must have hated herself. It's hard to believe an insecure little girl turned herself into a total slut. Slut? Oh, sorry, I guess I... Shouldn't use that kind of language when we're talking about your former girlfriend, even if she is one. Okay, my turn to ask a question. <laughs> I wore glasses, thick ones. No, why Stacy? Because when I look at her now, all I see is a woman who would let her nephew die so she could live out her teenaged fantasy. Well, when you put it like that. I mean, you'd have to be crazy to hook up with her, and you don't seem that screwed up. <laughs> Thank you, thanks. Seriously, how could someone like you end up with someone like her? Well, it's almost done. I always get hungry after I work out. Mm-hmm. It's all pull-ups. Did I tell you I hit a personal best? Uh-huh. Start to think it's working. We're really starting to notice a difference. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, we've talked about your feelings for Todd before, but, boy, you never said it like that. Mm, I guess when you think you're gonna die, the truth has a way of coming out. Taya, I mean, if you feel this way about Todd, what are you going to do about it? I have absolutely no idea. certainly not going to tell him. I'm never going to give Todd that kind of power over my life ever, ever, ever again. And if Blair tells him? She won't. How can you be sure she won't? Because she has as much to lose as I do. We agreed to keep each other's secrets. I thought you said you loved Jack and Sam. Of course I do. Well, then why do you continue to put them in the middle of one of our knockdown drag ads again? They're not going to be in the middle. They're going to be on my side. You sound so sure of yourself. I am. I know they love me. Well, then why can't they love you from here? They're home where they feel safe. Oh, this is a safe home? This is the home where you were stabbed? Oh, and you think your house is any safer? Right. Pal Lord killed Lee Halpern there. The kids were held hostage, right? Remember that? It's not about where we live. It's how you live. Lived. Pal and Rebecca are dead. Now no one else is gonna get hurt on my watch. <sighs> what are you talking about? Everybody gets hurt on your watch, Todd. You can't call it a day unless you've lied, cheated, or betrayed someone you love. Well, I guess that leaves you in the clear, doesn't it? 